हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू सिविल इंजीनियरिंग यूट्यूब चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब और चैनल फॉर डेली सिविल इंजीनियरिंग वीडियोस इन टुडे लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द प्रेशर एंड द स्ट्रेस इज द मोस्ट ऑफनली आस्क क्वेश्चन इन द कमेंट्स दैट हाउ टू डिफरेंशिएट बिटवीन द स्ट्रेस एंड द प्रेशर सो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन दिस विद द हेल्प ऑफ एन एग्जांपल्स इन फिगर्स सो इट विल बी वेरी इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड सो बेसिकली बोथ आर रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय द सेम फार्मूला both are represented by the force per unit area and they have the same units for example newton per meter square or for example pound per inch square so they have the same units and the same formula but how we can differentiate and why there are two different names if they have the same formula force per unit area so here is the difference there are three differences that i want to emphasize these three differences the first one is that the pressure it is the intensity of the external forces acting at any point so it is the int intensity of external forces while if we look to the stresses here this is the stresses definition so in stresses stress can be defined it is the intensity intensity of internal internal resisting forces So it is the intensity of internal resisting forces develop at any point. So now, what does this mean? So I'm going to explain this with the help of an example here. I'm taking here an example. For example, this is in a rod, steel rod. This is in a steel rod, and let's suppose the load is being applied. to this load in compression way its compressive load of p is applied on this object on steel rod so now this intensity of this external load acting on these points is known as the pressure now this p which is basically which is basically the forces these these are the forces that acting per unit area so forces acting per unit area but it is an external force acting outside on an object is known as the pressure so now this will be known as the pressure but there are some resistance that are created inside this object in order to resist this forces this external forces so now these res internal resistance are known as the these are the internal forces per unit area this is known as the if i call it f so this f is known as the stress so this internal resistance forces that created inside the body is known as the stress so this was the one of the main difference between the between the pressure and the stress the second difference is if i want to define the second difference then the pressure pressure always acts but always acts normal or perpendicular to the surface it means if this is in a surface if i draw it for example in a surface so the pressure always acts perpendicular the load is always acting perpendicular which means it makes a 90 degree angle to the surface this is the definition of the pressure it's always at perpendicular while if i define in take in the same object here but the stress acts either perpendicular the force is acting either perpendicular which is the internal resistance or they can also be parallel to the object so they can be perpendicular or parallel 
for example here we make 90 degree to the surface and here is 0 degree to the surface so they can be in both the uh, direction this is the second difference the third difference is that the pressure can be measured by a measuring device for example the pressure gauge pressure gauge is used to measure the pressure used to measure quantity of the pressure but on the other hand if we look to the stress there is no device to measure the stress this is also one of the difference between these two types of the terms which is the pressure and stress which are mostly same because of their formulas which is basically the forces per unit acting per unit area but since we have three big differences between these two type of the technical terms used in the physics or in civil engineering so hope you guys understood and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video